<laughs> Welcome to Binder TV. What's your name? Uh, Matt Mahon. And where are you from? Chattanooga, Tennessee. Well, tell us about this international behind you. Uh, it's an original U.S. Army truck. It's a 392. Um, it's got a IH corporate rear end and a Dana 70 front end factory. Uh, it was a three-quarter ton. I talked to a guy that ran a motor pool for many years. And he said that what they did, Dodge did, was put the three-quarter ton body and then a one-ton drivetrain. So I think that's the same thing they did on this international. Because it's, it's, according to anything you look up, it's not supposed to have these axles, but they're a factory. And then uh, I went to a school after it was in the Army. The school had it for a shop truck. They beat the snot out of it. They got parked for like 20 years. And here she is. You think, what kind of bed they had on it? You think? That's it. That's factory. That's that's all fa I've got the factory three-foot-tall bed sides for it at the house. Gotcha. So that's yeah, all factory. I mean, I put the wood on there, but it's got the original there in my house. Okay. So uh, I got there's a troop carrier. You how's know, the drive? Post. No power steering, but other than that, it's, a, it's great. It runs great. Goes down the highway okay? Yeah, uh, 55. Yeah. It's got 48 factory gears. It runs. So 60, she's wound out a little bit. It's pushing it. Yeah, it's comfortable 60, 63. You can hear the secondaries kick in, and it's just dumping fuel. Right. So it does pretty good, though. Oh, uh, we got, we averaged. 12 miles per gallon getting here? That's not bad. Not 260 miles? Not out of a binder. No, no. Well, I only have a 10 gallon tank though. Fact. Right. So, so you gotta you stop, stop every 100 miles and buy gas. <laughs> eh, it's good to stretch the legs, right? Right. Yeah. So what's your future plans with it? It's done. I'm going to clear coat this it. This is a patina truck? I'm going to clear coat it. Gotcha. It's done. I'm actually building my wife a Scout 2 right now. And so she's kind of getting more and more into this and her Scout's going to take priority. <laughs> This is just a driver. I wrecked my Silverado. I've daily driven this since um, Thanksgiving. I've been daily driving since Thanksgiving. Uh, it's a pretty nice truck, and uh, it is a piece of history. So, whatever you can do, do to preserve it, yep. yeah, that's, that's fantastic. Yeah, let it sit. Yeah. You know? Other than that, I, I fixed all the floors or the holes in the floor, and we uh, dynamited the whole interior, and it's got an F-150 seat, and vinyl floor. I mean, it's it's all right. Other than not having air, you know, no power steering. That's, right. That's tough. Well, you could add the power steering. I mean, I got this. Yeah. <laughs> it make, gives you a good workout. At the end of the day, I'm like, I can't put my arms down to my side. Yeah. <laughs> hey, appreciate you coming yeah. on. Thank you. Thanks, guys.